हे गाइस हेलो आई एम जयदीप यर आई हैव सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक वन इन सी एस सो मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स वेर आस्किंग मी अबाउट द रेफरेंस बुक्स एंड विच रेफरेंस बुक्स टू फॉलो सो आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग दिस वीडियो अबाउट द रेफरेंस बुक्स एंड वट शुड बी यूर अप्रोच और अदर आई वुड से वॉट वॉज माई अप्रोच फॉर द रेफरेंस बुक्स एंड इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस बाई लिविंग द योर वर्क so i would suggest first complete your work and then watch this uh, your time is more precious so let's get started uh, the first subject is algorithms and data structures so for this the clrs is the book uh, third edition uh, so this is the book which you should read and you should solve the exercises problem of the clrs now this book is like the bible for you for algorithms and data structure if you have done the exercises from the clrs then i can say 99% are the chances that you will you can solve any uh, algorithms and data structure related question in gate so this is the one thing and this is the best book that you could ever opt for the algorithms and uh, talking about the problems the problems are very good in the clrs it may happen that you may not be able to crack the few that's fine i wasn't able to crack the few also so but uh, this is the book which will give you the time or we could say the chances for exploring the algorithms and develop your thinking also the in initial impressions the reading of the clrs you may find tough i also find it a bit weird but after a time you will get used to it and then you will uh, understand what the author wants to say and this is the most important book for the algorithms uh, so keep this in mind now talking about the programming uh the programming i would say if you have time and if you want to read then go for the c programming language by brian and if you don't have a time or rather uh you are good at c then i would suggest that while you were so, uh, uh the previous year questions from the uh gate syllabus that would be enough and also you can after that uh, you will take various test series so in that case also you will learn various things about the c language so these are the two approaches like the reading the book properly or you can just you know uh, learn it from the problems so it depends on you uh, and the next is a digital logic uh, for the digital logic you could read morris mano now i use the word could because uh, digital doesn't require that much of a reading like the programming so even if you are watching youtube videos and all so keep those concepts sharp uh, there are sometimes where the concepts are directly taken from the book so in that cases uh, the book reading is essential but don't worry means even if you are not able to solve that question the rest there is very slight chances that anyone else also is going to solve those so for digital and programming i would say uh, that you can go with the youtube videos or and the test series uh, the book reading can be avoided uh, i didn't read a book for programming and digital logic uh, then next comes the computer organization and architecture yes here you should read the hammacher uh, like just go through the syllabus of the gate whichever the concepts are mentioned just uh, find in the index on which page those are and just start reading uh, the hammacher is the book which will give you a good idea about what's going on and what's the inside it means like basically how the uh, computer is working or like that and also the a uh, test pack problem is the problem which are given uh, after the chapter in hammacher are the ones which can be asked in a gate because uh, they are of a very good i would say uh, they are very good problems and they check your concepts whether you have understand the topics thoroughly or not so the hammacher is the one where you should read the concept which are mentioned in the syllabus and then just go for the problem solving now the theory of computation uh, i kept it blank because uh, the book is a ulman but uh, frankly speaking uh, it's a very tough for uh, tough to read and understand what ulman wants to say it's not like that he is a confused uh, he is a so brilliant that we need to decode the sentences what he is trying to say 
so i would say you can just uh, uh, watch the youtube videos which you will get the online and then uh, just like programming and digital logic uh, while solving the test series and all if you found something new just pick it up and learn the concept and uh, make a note of it because there are sometimes few things which will surprise you even till the last month i used to uh, get few question which used to surprise me about what the language will be like that kind of a thing so for toc you can like uh, go you should go for the videos and the test series which you will be solving after that the compiler design now for the compiler design ulman is the book now the thing is in compiler designs if gate wants to ask they can ask something which you couldn't solve by logically because for those things the reading will be must so what i will suggest is that uh, and the ulman is like for the compiler design it's pretty understandable and it is a fun to read so only those topics which are mentioned in the gate syllabus just go through them from the ulman now comes the operating system for the operating system i personally my personal opinion is operating system by galvin is the uh, best book now uh, the books and also uh, one thing i would like to say that whenever you are reading from the galvin there will be many thing many times uh, where the implementation will be given specific to the solaris windows linux you should skip those thing uh, those are the things which won't be asked in a gate now uh, for the databases we are having two books uh, the navate is good for the indexing because means if you read you will understand about why it's good so for indexing you should go to the chapter 17th of the navate and for rest the sudarshan is good now coming to the computer networks here it's like means people can be divided into two groups porosion versus tannenbaum so it's your personal preference but uh, keep one thing in mind that the application protocol related uh, concepts can be easily found in the uh, summary of forozen book so it's like forozen will give you some uh, points after the end of every chapter which will summarize whatever you learned now those things are not that much different in both the books but uh, it's like even if you are reading tannenbaum just go through the summary pages of the forozen so and most of the time you will find that gate may ask the question directly from the summary of the forozen and sometimes it happens that the essential means reading is required to solve some particular types of a question even if you just go through the previous year questions of computer networks in gate you will come across many time whether where you are finding that these questions can be solved means like logically you will think and you will solve for solving those question you will need the concept and without reading you can't understand the concept right it's like if you found something new then how we means we can't discover a new concept right while solving the paper so this is the one thing to keep in mind for discrete maths it's very uh, sorted for graph theory you will have to read the nursing dev for group theory tramble van hoor and kenneth rosen is for the rest it's the best book so also coming to the la and calculus the 11 12 basics are just required just brush them up and go through the previous year questions also here i would like to say one thing like some of the times the questions are a bit trickier so while you are solving the test series or like getting a good question keep them in your uh, repository so that you will able to revise them up whenever you need it and the next is a probability now for probability see the thing is if you are having good ample amount of time then you should uh, read sheldon ross and solve the exercises otherwise i would say that you should just uh, uh, go through the 11th and 12th basics and then go for the problem solving now uh, what i want to say uh, what i would like to highlight is that whenever you are reading a book just read the concept which are mentioned in the syllabus go through them once or twice after that highlight the important things which you think are the important and after doing that keep just keep revising those things after a while means like after one week or one and a half week you should go through the subject which you highlighted like uh, before so that's one thing and uh, 
you should what my, was my approach like before june end go through the test book if you want to but uh, like uh, programming and digital logic toc you can avoid and for the rest you should go through the books so keep these things in mind and also i would like to say make a separate means what was my approach was to make separate documents for the each subject so whenever i used to solve the test series i used to take note of my mistakes and used to copy and paste the questions into the my uh, record book the of mistakes and also sometimes there might be a chances that there is a very good question which required a trick to solve so those questions you might be able to solve but you should also keep those in your repository because it may happen that uh you have discovered the logic at that time uh, in a very short period of time but it may sometime take a while if the same question comes again but in a different form so this is the one thing you should keep in mind also while uh, reading the book uh, don't be in a hurry uh, please see that you are understanding the things very clearly uh and yeah this is it so uh just few things like uh, let's summarize the video reading is essential but for few like programming digital logic toc you could avoid that and the la calculus probability is from your 11th basics and while reading the book uh, keep highlighting the things which you find important so that uh, later the revision becomes easy and also uh, make the separate doc file like i used to make a separate doc file where i used to keep the um, uh, things which i found new or the mistakes i did in the same file and please see that means it should be manageable it's not like 80 or 90 pages doc it should be like within 40 pages so it will be easy for you to revise that doc before your exam and the good thing about this approach is that if you are keeping it in revision so it's guaranteed it almost becomes guaranteed that you won't commit the same mistake again and again because if you are revising it your brain will understand it like yes we have done this and it will also understand the what mistakes you made the last time so it's fine to make a new mistakes every time but it's very bad to make the same mistake again and again uh, and finally sorry for the video quality i am shooting in this my home and this is my first video so thanks for bearing me thank you guys and master the process uh, the rest is just the by product keep doing the things with your full focus and attention okay bye